you ready? <sighs> Let's do it. It is my honor to present to you. I've been doing a little jig all day. I'm really excited. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Lance Rose. Well, Lance and Madison, you guys have anticipated this day, and the hour has finally come. Your lives will be forever changed by the words that we share and the commitments that you make in these next few minutes. Madison, Janan, Sperling, Rhodes, I love you. If I never say anything else, just know that I love you. I love you for who you are, who you've been, and who you will be. When I met you, I told you there's only one of you. Your kindness, patience, and tender heart is unmatched. I fell deeply in love with you in San Diego. One specific moment I recall is you sitting on the rock, taking in the sunset. I thought to myself, I can't wait to tell our kids and show our kids how beautiful their mom is. First off, I hope you know how fully loved that you are. You have granted me the freedom to fully be myself and to be loved wholeheartedly. I knew early on in the gym that you would be someone who changed my life, but I didn't know how and I didn't know how fast it would happen. And the thought that I get to be the woman that is by your side through many more dogs, continuing to make a house a home and then having children is the biggest blessing and privilege. We make everyone's life better just by being in it. And you've always made me feel like I'm the most special person in the entire world. So just since the beginning, but people search their whole lives for something like this and now we have it in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so you look so handsome. <laughs> you like it? Oh man, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, one of the things I told your dad was that if I could spend the rest of my life on this earth with you, it wouldn't be enough. It just wouldn't be enough time. There aren't enough words. There aren't enough ways that I can explain how I feel about you. But there are some promises I will make. <laughs> I promise to be your friend. I promise to listen, to love you unconditionally, to remain faithful, to be patient and understanding to laugh at your jokes, <laughs> to tell you how beautiful you are, and to always give you everything that I've got. I will always be by your side and you need to know I will never waver. I will be faithful to you until our last day on this earth. I promise to push you to be the best in every aspect of life. I promise to worship wholeheartedly with you and to pray with you and for you. I promise to never dull the light that you have inside of you, and I'll do everything I can to keep it burning. I love you with every fiber of my being, and it radiates out through the smiles and laughs that you give me daily. My heart is always yours, and I love you so much more than life itself. <laughs> Lance, you may kiss your wife.
Man, you haven't even met Madison yet. I think she's the one. Woo. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna meet her. Boom, fast forward two months, go down to Mint Hill. All right, so they had this nice epic fire pit with nice seating around it. Like it was a bunch of white folks around it, drinking, drinking white claw. Somebody had a guitar playing wagon wheel. You just had to be there, right? So I see Madison, I go up, right? And I go, reach out my hand, I'm like, hey, Madison. And before I can get a word out, she just starts talking a trillion. Oh my God, hey, Omar, it's nice to see you. Hey, oh my God, you Lance, you told me so much about you. I played football, I went to App State. Oh my God, you like football? I like football, hey. I was just looking at her and I thought, I was like, she is the one. She is. She is. Because the way she's treated me from that day forward, she's like, you're important to Lance, so you're important to me. And I love you for that, Madison. I really do. Whew.